In this presentation we're going to look at a metric used in predictive analytics called the F-score. So let's have a look at that. So suppose we have a binary classification system that would predict outcomes as either positive or negative, true or false, yes or no, customer or not customer, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to call them positive or negative. So we have binary outcomes like that. We have four possible outcomes from the procedure. We could have cases that are actually negative and correctly predicted to be negative, so we call those true negatives. True positives that are uh, cases that are actually positive and correctly predicted to be positive. But the second two are uh, just uh, almost as important, in fact are more important. The uh, false negative, which is a positive case that is incorrectly predicted as, ne as negative, and a negative case that is incorrectly predicted as a positive. And so those two are quite interesting. So we would sort of set up our data like this. This is sort of a classification table, sometimes uh, referred to as a confusion matrix or something similar to a confusion matrix. So we have the actual cases here uh, uh, sort of set up along the rows and the predicted cases here are set up, set up along the columns. Okay, so that's uh, how we would sort of uh, structure our data. Now the F score or F measure is a single measure of the classification procedure's usefulness. There's another one that I've talked about previously called accuracy and ac accuracy is also a single measure but F score is much more informative about some key aspects of the predictive power of the classification procedure. It considers both precision and recall of the procedure to compute the score. So it's a sort of a way of combining those two results. Now, the, the higher the F score, the better the predictive power of the classification procedure. A score of one means that the classification procedure is perfect. The lowest possible value is zero. So, quickly, let's remind ourselves about what precision is. It's the total number of correct uh, positive results divided by the total number of predicted positive results. Uh, recall is the number of correct positive results divided by the number of actual positive results. So there's a slight distinction between the two. This is how, how many uh, were correct out of the ones you guessed, how many were correct out of the ones that you should have been positive. So the S score is the harmonic mean for the of the precision and recall. So this is the sort of conventional formula here for harmonic mean for two values. And but it's probably easier to sort of set it up in this sort of formula structure here just which is uh, simply a rearrangement of the top formula. 2 times precision times recall. Uh so where this fraction here is divided by precision plus recall or this, this uh, term here is divided by this term here. So, uh, so precision times recall divided by precision plus recall multiplied by 2. Here's some values here. Uh, this is an example I used in previous uh, presentations. I won't go over it again, but just to say that the uh, accuracy, uh, the metric, accuracy metric is 0.9952. That's the total number of total proportion of correct predictions but uh, it, and it seems to be quite a high number but let's look at these other two recall 0.8428 uh, that would sort of suggest that there's room for big room for improvement precision 0.9218 again the second recall of precision the metrics are not quite as impressive as the accuracy so what we're going to do is compute the uh, divided by precision plus recall and multiply that by 2 Here's our values there. What we have to do is just a little bit of calculator work. Okay, so just to try that yourselves. Pause it for here for a second even. Uh, moving on, so what we get is 0 0.770 divided by 1.7646. Now you might get slightly different values there, it just depends on the way you calculated it. I used a computer that had much more greater pre uh, precision than four decimal places, so you might get slightly different values. Uh, but ultimately you should get something quite close to 2 times 0 0.4402. So for this um, procedure, this classification procedure, the F score was 0 0.8804. Now just compare that with the accuracy, the score we found earlier, 
not 0 0.8804 highest score but again it sort of shows that there's room for improvement uh, this would sort of indicate there's much more uh, uh, room for improvement uh, whereas you could look at this and you think everything's great but in fact it's not okay that ends our presentation